Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys have been asking and I am finally answering you. Today we are gonna be making a simple one piece swimsuit. So let's get going. So as always, to make this swimsuit, you will need a fitted tank top and a pair of pants that you like the fit of. This time I used this really cute green and white striped lycra. It's quite a thin material, so as a lining, I used a stretch mesh to give it some structure. If you don't have a lining, you can use the fabric that you're using as an outer fabric as a lining also. You can see where I got this fabric from in my last fabric haul, which I'll link below. Other tools you will need are scissors, craft paper, pens, ruler, tracing wheel, and pins. And of course you'll need your matching thread and sewing machine. So I'm going to start by making a paper pattern for our swimsuit with our clothing items. To do this, you wanna fold your tank top in half with the front facing outwards. Place this on the edge of your craft paper. We're only gonna make half a pattern and cut the fabric on the fold. Now, once you've folded it in half, you want to fold up the bottom of your top so that it ends at the lower waistline. You can mark this by trying on the top and then just kind of marking where your hip starts. Fold your pants so that the front is also facing outwards and line up the top of the pants with the bottom of the top. Now, you should have a basic swimsuit shape as a result. Use a tracing wheel to trace around the outside of the clothes, making sure only to trace the front of the pants and the front of the tank top. To draw out your tracing, I'm gonna use a little trick that I picked up on my YouTube travels. Grab two pens, tape them together or use an elastic band like I did, and then draw out your markings that you've made. You will automatically have your pattern line and your seam allowance all in one go. Amazing, and time saving. So we are actually gonna use this front as the back, and I'll show you how. I wanted the swimsuit to have a straight back, so I modified the pattern by drawing a straight line from the center front of the pattern to the armpit. This will serve as the top half of the back pattern. You can fold the shoulder down when cutting out. Now, you need to make the bottom part of the back pattern. To do this, you will fold your pant in half with the back side facing outwards, trace around like we did with the front, and then use the two pen system to mark the paper. I also adjusted the coverage of the bottom because I wanted it to cover just a little bit more cheek than it was currently covering. But all those kind of adjustments you can actually make while you're tracing. Once you've cut it out, you should be able to just place the bottom piece on top of the main pattern that's been folded over and use this as a back pattern. Alternatively, if you don't want to have a straight back, you can just keep the shoulder bit up and it will give you a really nice scoop back option for your swimsuit. Okay, hard part over, let's get on to the cutting. Fold your fabric in half and cut your pattern pieces on the fold. I made sure to line up my fabric so that the stripes were aligned. If the pattern you are using is too difficult, you can lay it out and cut it out flat. All you need to do is flip over the pattern when you get to the middle and cut out the other side. You should also use the same pattern to cut out your lining. You will also need two straps, so I roughly cut out two long rectangles, measuring roughly about eight centimeters by 35 centimeters. Okay, now that you've cut all your pieces out, let's get sewing. First of all, you need to sew your front and back pieces together at the side seam and at the crutch, and do the exact same thing for your lining. I used my serger for this swimsuit, but you can also use a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch for stretch fabrics. To sew the straps, you need to sew some elastic along the edge of your strap fabric using either a zigzag stitch or your serger with the knife down. Then, fold over the elastic, completely covering the attached elastic, and then sew down again using either a wide zigzag stitch or a three-step zigzag stitch. 
then you can cut off the excess fabric and you have some cute and very easy spaghetti straps. Now that we have all of our pieces, let's put them together. First of all, we are going to attach our lining and our straps at the same time. To do this, you will need to place your front piece inside your lining with the right sides facing each other. You can do this by lining up the seams at the crutch. So that means the good side of the fabric should be facing the inside. From there, you need to sandwich the strap in between the lining and the front piece and leave them on the inside of the suit. Pin them to the front part of the suit and then sew all the way around the front and around the back to catch the straps and attach the lining at the same time. You can use a serger for this or you can use a zigzag stitch on your domestic machine. So this is what it will look like once it's been sewn up at the top. You'll see the straps just hanging out in the middle there. And to keep the back tight, we're gonna stretch and sew a piece of elastic just to that back area there. Okay, now you can turn your swimsuit right sides out through one of the leg holes and you'll see that the straps are now attached. Now we're gonna turn the suit inside out and fold over the edge and hem around the back and the side. This is so the lining doesn't roll to the front when wearing. Once you have done that, you can then attach the other side of the straps to the back of the suit with a repeated straight stitch and secure it in place. All that's left to do now is the leg holes. So you can do this the same way that we did the spaghetti straps and also we've done this in other videos before. So that is sewing the elastic directly onto the leg hole using both the lining and the front fabric. Then fold over to the inside and hem with either a zigzag or a three step zigzag stitch. And then that's it, you're done. So this is what it looks like. It looks a bit like bunched up at the moment, but once you put it on, it will be completely flat against your body. So let's see what it looks like on. Okay, so here we are. This is what it looks like on. And yeah, really, really happy with this one. I will be probably wearing this one a lot. Absolutely love the stripes. If you like what you see and want to make one for yourself, please, please, please tag me in your Instagram stories and posts. I love seeing your makes. It really, really makes me happy, such as this post sent to me by Lydia Jane Alice. How cute is this bikini? I absolutely love it. And what's even better is that this was the first time that she'd ever made anything. She made this from my tie front bikini tutorial and I just had to give her a shout out because it is so cute, like I would legit buy this. Send me your makes and I will put you at the end of my videos and everyone can see how well that you've done. Okay, that's it for now. Like, subscribe and all that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.